This is the tenth chapter in this project where we'll light the building and create the final touches for our final renders and um, let's get started. Okay so we've built our lighting and this is uh, the result we got here. Um, so uh, I guess this is just so dark up here because of the lights up here and there's absolutely no, no lighting up there. So uh, actually we're getting kind of a weird lighting right here. Uh, not sure why that is. And then we're also getting this glowing over here. So I guess our box is, our outside box needs to be moved to the left a little to fit that road in. So now that should build fine and it's good on this side. We're good underneath, we're good above. So uh, this looks pretty cool. I can actually see this like going into a game. Um, so uh, this is kind of this view isn't really that big. So I'm just going to slide this over. And slide this over. Let's get a nice big view of this. Uh, we're not really going to need these materials much, so um, let's keep that about over there. And this I want to keep down to. Uh, so let's so we can still edit these numbers in here, but. I'm going to do a file save and then save all and that lighting built pretty quick so I'm actually going to build the lighting uh, some more and um, uh, do it a little bit better quality so we can kind of see uh, if we're getting some some crazy quality and whatnot. Um, and I'm also going to build the objects um, so I like these things here but uh, if I turn on our sprites, um, like I know this is like water here, but I just want to see if, what are these called? These are called hallway floor. So if we actually get rid of those, um, will we get that uh, look on our uh, road? Um, so I'm going to select these and I'm going to put them in a new folder create a new and call them uh, flooring and then turn them off because we still have this which is our like decal um, so I'm going to turn them off it should still be there uh, I'm going to get rid of kind of these these paper looking things because it, it doesn't really go with our map here and if we wanted to we could add those later too also so what are those called those are called broken tiles yeah it doesn't really fit with our, our map here so uh, I'm gonna go on broken tiles and delete them and this hallway floor you missed and then um, I like these little trash bags so <laughs> um, I'm just gonna move that uh, over to maybe like our inside of our, our thing here so if I hold to snap this over there um, I'm not really sure what the command is for that um, so I'll just grab everything by the X Y and not grab the Z um, it looks like it needs to be moved up a little bit so if we undo that and then grab all of our trash bags um, we'll move them a little bit closer and then we'll move them up uh, I don't know it's just a cool thing to have trash bags in your scene and then these ones over here, we'll, uh, we'll put in a group, um, you know, maybe something like uh, over here in this corner. Drag them down a little bit more. I'm going to move them in, inside a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, not show these sprites anymore hide all those um, do a quick save uh, save all then I'm going to rebuild the lighting in its highest setting and then I'm going to rebuild these capture spheres and then we'll do some post processing and some other stuff um, and we'll see if these actually um, if these uh, you know these water puddles show up on our uh, on our road um, Turn those on. They should because I can kind of see them there. Um, 
So once the lighting's built, they'll probably show up a lot better. So I'm just gonna hide all, and uh, what are these things? It's a mirror, and this is. So I'm kind of just um, trying to grab this thing here. That's also a mirror. We don't need that. We don't need this one. Um, I don't need that one. Okay, so another save. Save all. And now I'm gonna now I'm gonna build the lighting at the, at its best quality, probably production or high. And so I'm gonna pause the video and then come back when that's done. Okay, so we've built our lighting at uh, at uh, the production quality. Um, then I rebuilt uh, the sphere reflection captures just by hitting update capture. And we can see these puddles here, um, but they're not really prominent. So I think on a darker road they would show up a little bit more. Um, and our uh, our um, illuminations are still a little too strong. Uh, I'd like to see the, the red in these some more. So um, I think if we modify our, our road texture, um, so that's going to be map D, or E, sorry. Um, let's say we do a multiply on this. Uh, to kind of make it darker. I think that once we plug that in and then choose something darker like 0.25 and then save it. Um, see now our puddles show up a lot better. And it's almost better now because it is a dark scene so the road was a little too bright anyway. Um, but now we're getting these good puddles here. So we almost need like a, a grate here or like a sewer uh, cap. Uh, but um, that's okay. Uh, still looks pretty good from that angle. So, um, but I still want this uh, this illumination to be a little bit less. So, I'm gonna go back into our map C, which is our, our um, sign map. Uh, so, so if we change this number to, and you know, it might have something to do with this being the metallic and the roughness too. So I'm going to see what that does without it. Okay, not really much. So I guess we could uh, keep those on those connections. And I'm just going to update this one to maybe something like uh, 0.25. It's probably going to be brighter. Okay, so it's really bright. So how about like 0 0.047? Now that our lighting's built, it might look a little different. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so I think maybe just a hair more. So like 0 0.48. Not sure if that's going to make any difference, but it might. Not really. Okay, so... Let's work on our lights now. Um, so we have some lights up in front here. We actually have a, this mirror thing here too, so I don't want that. And we don't want this one. Keep finding those in this scene. Um, so um, I was saying our lights, um, if we turn on show sprites and then show all, um, we actually have these lights that are, so now I'm getting all these particles here. Um, so we have these lights here that um, if we affect the world, they turn off. So um, I think I'm just going to, I need. we need some more lights on the ends here. Um, and this piece is all one, so that should actually be red. Uh, so I'm not sure why that's not this. You know this text lettering here. It's not red. Um, that'd be a part of our box uh, sign here. So if we go down and see, it's not red there. So um, not really sure why not. Um, if we go into our map here, 
Uh, well, that's a different thing. So um, I want to adjust this lighting. So I'm going to make it more of a... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to copy it first. So if I go to Edit, Duplicate, is Control w um, Just going to grab this and move it up. And then uh, out. And then rotate it uh, so it points more up. And then bring it down a little bit. And I'll make this like an orange color. Um, so it's going to be like an a orangey red. And I'm going to change the intensity, bring that up a little bit more. Actually, more of like a, a red. And we can bring this out. But we're going to start losing the red. Um, so I really just want it on this fox here. So that shows up really good. Might be a little too red. So that looks a little bit better. Um, and then uh, the glow on our windows are a little too much. So if we go to our map uh, D1. That's that. So I'm going to change this to something like... Uh, it's at point 0.1, so point zero seven eight. Hit save. Doesn't really do much, so I'm gonna go four five. Point zero four five. That brings it down just enough. That uh, that's pretty good. So um, now I just want to make like we so we can see in these parts here. So. Um, obviously our front is going to be the, the most light, um, but we need some type of uh, like light in there. So I'm going to grab this light, hit control W to copy it, and bring it over here. And we might have to change the type of light it is. Bring it up, and I'm going to bring it to the left and kind of point it to the right. And see if we can get some, see our cone stop in here. So there we go. So that's going to extend our light, and then we'll just bring the intensity up a little bit. So like something like 500 maybe, as opposed to like 200. So like 700. And then I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And just kind of point it to the right so it looks like maybe it's coming from this light here. Um, and without that on, uh, world without that on we don't see much of that detail so I'm gonna, I think I like that and we'll probably make a different scene with uh, that's not at night to kind of show the rest of the building so I'm just gonna alt W that and then uh, bring it over to the other side here and rotate it to the left and um, so we're kind of getting a good result here if we go to effect world and we can now see this door here and copy it again and move it over and then maybe move it a little bit to the right so we can kind of I don't know see see more of these doors and I'm gonna just bring down the intensity down to like 500 and then uh, see it's a little too bright over there so I'm move it back over here bring the intensity down maybe to like 400 and uh, kind of move it to like right there okay so um, now I think we could do some like post processing stuff um, so let's turn off our sprites here hide all um, select unselect all okay so um, to do some post-processing with this, um, and this is our light uh, mass volume, uh, so that's kind of good right where it is, I think, because we want the most of the light to be from the, the sign. So we have some fog here. Um, this lighting is directional. What, what does that do? So if we affect the world... It's basically not doing much at all. So 
I guess I'll just keep it because that's what it was before. And we'll just have to rebuild our lighting. Um, so we've got some of that going on. Um, and I don't know where that post processing stuff went. Post processing volume. I'll say it's down here. So uh, we can add a tint. We can add saturation. I'm going to add that 1.125. That's a little too much here. So how about 0 0.025? Uh, the contrast. Uh, I don't really want to mess with that much. But if we mess, put it up a little bit, it'll look a little darker. Might be just good enough. Um, our tint. I don't really want to move that much. Um, so uh, I don't think we're going to need color grading in this. Um, bloom. That's a good one. Uh, let's get 0.5 does. About one. Um, that's a little strong. How about 0.8? And let's just try like 0.2 just to see the difference. So 0.8 really has a big effect. So 0 0.7, 0 0.6, I think 0.75 maybe, something in between. Um, we can add a dirt mask. Um, so our uh, light volume intensity. If we intens intensify that, uh, it's not going to really affect it much. Um, ambient cube map. Exposure. Don't want to really touch that. Um, intensity of the lens flares. Uh, that might be pretty cool. Um, ambient occlusion intensity. So it was 0.35. At a radius of 30, we'll just move those up. And global illumination. Um, I'm going to change this kind of like, like a, a blue. Kind of get a different shade in there. And then maybe bump that up to like uh, 1.25. Um, we have our depth of field. Um, that's going to be dependent on the camera. But I do want to include that, so uh, I'm just going to make that a focal distance of maybe something close to that, our near distance, far transition. So quality for screen place reflections is already up to 100. Um, so that kind of covers that. Um, now if we add, uh, if we take our spirit capture reflectors and update the capture, uh, that will do that. And then I'm just going to build the lighting uh, another time. So I'm going to hit, actually I'm going to save our scene first. So file, save. And then save all. And I'm going to build the geometry pretty quick. And I'm going to select uh, nothing, so unselect all. And then I'm going to build the lighting on production. So I'll build lighting only. Might take a second or two. Okay, build lighting complete. So this is what our scene looks like after the lighting's complete. Looks like we have some issues on the like the outside of our world, uh, but that side's fine. Um, so this looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna uh, build our reflection captures again with the new lighting. So update captures, and then I'm going to select none, uh, unselect all, and do a file save. And then I'll save our lighting and our light maps, and then I'm going to save all. And so this is what we have right now. Um, so I'd love to jump in this world and just kind of take a look around. Um, 
So let's do that now. Let's just go into play. And it looks like our blueprint is unresolved. So I right, hit save, so I'm gonna hit yes. And we kind of get that rain. It's raining, so it's not really walking around as much as uh, we can just move ourselves around. So this looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so it built those uh, those things there. Um, since we hit them, that didn't really totally get rid of them. So that looks kind of funny right now. But um, other than that, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, oh, another thing that I forgot to uh, mention is um, right now we have our, our high poly and low poly door handles on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit the game and, and uh, fix those. Um, so let's um, just going to do a quick file, save as, and save increment. But we do have to change one thing, um, at least, uh, is our um, high poly and low poly handles. So I'm going to turn off the low poly, low poly windows off, um, high poly handles and high poly windows on. And so we have the fullest quality of our polygons. Um, and... I think I'm going to turn this bloom down a little bit more because uh, really these animals up here aren't supposed to be lit. Um, so if I can just grab that modifier, I think it's in other. Um, let's see here. It's going to be in our post processing. Here we go, right here. And that bloom, if we knock that down to like 0.25, or probably like zero. Um, what was that, 7.5? No, I, 0.75. Um, maybe that's an issue with our texture. So let's go see. Um, so we're in the texture now, and uh, the illumination on these uh, figures here are a little bit off um, yep it actually looks like uh, from our texture here um, that that is supposed to be eliminated which it's not um, so we can just easily go into our map C and um, that should not be in there so I'm gonna go to um, map C and then the Photoshop file and kind of uh, take that out. Maybe it's a layer I forgot to turn off or to turn on. Uh, and then we'll re-import it into Unreal. So we have normals, we have normals, uh, not emissive. And we'll just grab our, our dark black and just paint this out of the emissive map. So no part of that exists. And then I'm going to save the Photoshop file. And then I'll save over the PNG that's in Unreal. Um, so actually, I'm just going to save it here at my uh, C. And then also save it to our, our final textures. Um, so let's actually go in here and see if it does. You might ask us if we want to update. Or I might have to update it manually. Um, so it's uh, it's going to be map C, and then it's going to be this glow map. And we can see it when it updates because we'll see the map. So if you just go to, uh, there is no update, but we can re-import it. There it goes. Okay. So um, unless those are supposed to be lit. Let's take a look at our reference. Kind of looked better lit, didn't it? So let's take a look here. Um, I think the neon is supposed to be lit. Uh, I don't really have a good night scene. 
that's about all I got uh, for the night and, and this one maybe but looks like the um, main uh, neon of the like details of it is lit but not the actual thing itself um, so um, I kind of liked it better lit just grab the pieces that are supposed to be lit and then uh, make those these and and I'm just gonna grab these three and I'm going to copy them turn these layers back on and then remove these above this might actually look even better above our uh, non-emissive uh, black so if that's like that then that will glow and I'm just gonna kind of mask out some of this here too I'm gonna hit save and then this time I'm just gonna save it to our, our map that's in uh, Unreal so that'll be under our final maps so scene assets, images, final maps map C and then the glow hit OK and again it should once this updates it should update that and this might even look a little cooler now Okay, so let's right click on this, hit re-import. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Something had to be lit, so um, that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back up now then, I guess. Um, from 0.48 to like, uh, I don't know, 0.56, hit save. So yeah, um, and now I think we could probably jump in game, but I want to rebuild the lighting. Okay, so we've rebuilt the lighting, and so I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching, and here is the final video of our final project. Here is some of the images I rendered out from in Unreal. Um, just wanted to add these to the video, um, just so you could see the detail in uh, still frame.